declare that we love you. We declare an everlasting love for you. Father, we declare, Father, we declare that we love, we love you, Lord. We declare an everlasting love for you. Jesus, I declare, Jesus, we declare that I love, I love you, Lord. I declare an everlasting love for you. My Jesus, I declare, Jesus, I declare that I love, I love, I love you, Lord. I declare an everlasting love for you. My Jesus, I declare, Jesus, I declare that I love, I love, I love you, Lord. I declare an everlasting love for you. Deuteronomy 6, 5. Deuteronomy 6, 5 is an injunction that enjoins us to love the Lord God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our being. Love the Lord God with all of your heart, your soul, your being. I've come to discover that the Christian faith, unlike what most ministers preach, comes with a lot of challenges, issues, persecutions. Matthew 6, 33 is a popular verse of scripture that says, Make when I seek the kingdom of God oh, and his righteousness, if we not do I'm so other things Nigeria, Bikin oh Nigeria, wife who Nigeria, husband who Nigeria, anything you define oh Nigeria, that's a song in the local dialect, a song translation in Pidgin English of Matthew six thirty three. We say, seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other thing will be added unto you. And so, in the local language, they begin to call, make a list, marriage. Gather means a dash, a bonus. So, they say, now, marriage becomes a bonus. A child is a bonus. That dream car you are looking for is a bonus. Whatever you are looking for is a bonus. They say, everything becomes bonus, bonus, bonus for you. Free, free, <laughs> free. <laughs> There's a way my senior pastor put it. He said, you, everything you own is pro bono, pro bono, pro bono. <laughs> Meaning all my own. Just, you know, just do for free. They did Facebook. Where is the money they gave you from Facebook? Free. You have money. You call widows. Free. Give rappers, do this one free everything pro bono. <laughs> God our Father has done bigger and better and greater for us. Free bonus package. Free bonus package. But I've discovered that you must love the Lord your God. When you accept Christ Jesus, seek to love Him. Seek to love Him. When you love Him. The work will become sweet. That is why Apostle Paul can say, the trials, the problems he went through, he said they are light afflictions. Light afflictions. And he began to this how many times they flog him, how many times they do this, they do that. But he calls them light afflictions. That is because he has come to love God. He loves God above everything else. The love of God is what is paramount in his heart, in his life. And because of that love, he doesn't count the hardship, anything that he does. On Facebook the other day, somebody posted. He said he doesn't know how he will love this woman back in turn. A very beautiful lady. He said, he met this lady... And he thought I was open to I said, I don't have anything. 
Which kept saying, I want to see your place. I want to know your place. I don't have anything. What is I want to? And to his amazement, she came. And nothing, nothing slept on the floor. How many we do that now? How many we do that now? That's why you see a lot of people do live false life. Borrow house, borrow this, borrow that to pose. Because he knows that if I don't pose as a big person, this woman won't follow me. This person won't follow me. But no, that ought not to be. When you love, a lot of the marriages who are breaking up because of the hard times. You know, me and Ufi suffer. No, me and Ufi manage. No, me and Ufi manage. No, management, no, they my book. Management, no, they my dictionary. Whereas, there are good times and there are bad times. Good times and bad times. And when the bad times come, we're supposed to embrace it with joy. Not embracing it to accept it. You say thank you for the grace God will give you to wither it. And you attack it. You look for solutions. You look for the way out. Not dodging it and saying, no, I can't manage. I can't manage. I can't manage. I can't manage. Somebody like me, I was very high in the societal strata ladder before I married. I was in the big league. But when I married, my adjustment was drastic, drastic, drastic and hard. Because my mom said, follow your husband, follow him. But don't pick anything. Don't pick anything. I didn't pick fridge, nothing, no carpet, no spoon, nothing. No television. I said, go. Go and start life afresh with your husband. And I followed that injunction. I didn't pick nothing. Nothing. I had a flat with phone, everything. But I left all. Walked away. In fact, several years when I came back, one of my was a car. You can walk, walk away. But by the grace of God, you can walk past anything. You can walk past that pain. You can walk past that child. You can walk past that which seeks to limit you when you love God. So we are saying that this year, God has great plans for us. Great purposes for us. He has a lot of good, good things in store for us. But in all of this, it can only come to play when we love him. When we love him. When we love him. And what's the definition of love? The definition of love here means to adore. Wow. When we adore him. When we adore him. <laughs> we'll spend time to look at this because... This is the bottom line. This is the pathway. To make it in Christ Jesus is to love him. He loved us because... He, we love him because he first loved us. Christ first loved us. He first loved us. And has chosen to demonstrate this love for us. John 3 says, For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. That whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. The word love here means a warm affection. You must have an affection for the things of God. Don't allow COVID-19 to restrict you. A lot of us, COVID-19 have restricted us. We don't worship anymore as we used to. We don't fellowship anymore as we used to. But they say no, a warm affection for God. A warm affection for the things of God. A warm affection for the people of God. Love means a benevolence. A benevolence. Let us be more outshowing. God loves us that he gave us benevolently his only son. We are to also go beyond that and do that. Do same. He said to admire passionately. You cannot ad admire Jesus from afar. No. He said, when you draw near to me, I will draw near to you. So in this year, this new year, we are saying that make it your passion, your passion. Fasting and prayers are going on in, in a lot of the churches. I don't know when you are fasting what you are asking God for. I don't know what is your request. I don't know whether it's husband you put in front, Pekino, wife, Moto, all those things that we sang in that local song. 
I don't know what you put, but to me, to my mind, I believe that the first prayer point, the most paramount prayer request should be that you should know him more and the power of his resurrection. Should be that you should fellowship more with him. You should know him more in a greater way. The song that says, More, more about Jesus. More, more about Jesus. More of his loving goodness. More of his love who died for me. We want more of all those things, yes, but it should also be that we want to know him more. More, more, more. That's why I say, draw, we come to draw more, draw more from him in the mighty name of Jesus. So it should be a passionate walk. Love him passionately. Love him delightfully. Love him affectionately. Love him with a love that cannot be quantified, monetized. You just know that your waking moments, your waking thoughts of him, when you wake up, your thoughts is about God. You love him. You love him. You love him. All that you do and say is a love for Christ, a love for God. And so this, in this clip, we are saying that let love be your driving force. In this year, this new year, let your earnest heart desire be how to please your maker, how to be in tune with your maker, how to fellowship more, how to love him more, how to delight in him more. The Tarunomi 6 5. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your might. When you do that, then life will become better, better, better. Because then you will see God in a greater dimension. Now, all his goodness is for everybody. There is a generic blessing. You have 24 hours, I have 24 hours. The richest man, the most intelligent, we all have 24 hours. The day is breaking and is breaking to the good, the bad and the evil. The air, which is the most essential commodity for humans to survive first, the air. The air, without the air, you can't breathe. Before you talk of water, before you talk of food, before you talk of housing, the first is the air we breathe. Apart from the spirit of man, the spirit man needs the air. When we have the air, then we talk about other things. We are saying that this year, love the Lord your God. Let God be a passion. Let it be a passionate walk with God. When you do that, we define the word love. A benevolent, affectionate, admiring, so many good words and adoration. When you do that, he will now begin to show you his love in a new, another dimension. You now become sons and daughters. A son, my son does not need permission. When he comes in, he can knock the door open. But as he knocks, he comes in. Everyone close to me have access, but even those that are close, there's a limit to how far they can go. They can't come into my room until I say, come in. They won't even near. They'll just say, mommy, I want to see you. I'll come downstairs and see them. Things like that. But your own son, your own daughters have access. The kitchen, the toilet, everywhere access. This is where, when you love God, you admire him, you adore him. You take him as your personal Lord and Savior. You now step into sonship, into that biological relationship with him, sons and daughters. And you have access to all, access to all, no restrictions, no limitations. To come into this realm, you need to accept Christ Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. You repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin, have mercy on me. The minute you say that, your sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. Get a Bible, a book Bible, a book Bible, a book Bible. I I emphasize the book Bible. Why do I talk about the book Bible? Because the Android is good, but there will be distractions. 
you want to open Matthew, before you get there, a lot of other things will come. Before you know your time of, of studies is shortened. But with the book Bible, a daily devotional, you are focused. You can sit, read, and learn. Of course, like I've said, the Android phone, download free audio messages. When you are working, you are cooking, you are doing anything, play it. Play it. Before you know it, you are reading whole chapters, whole chapters of the Bible. Lord bless you. Lord keep you. May his countenance of favor and of mercy never leave us all. Of course, you need a Bible believing church too. Look for one and attend. On YouTube, we have five, five vibrant. Um, on YouTube, we have the channel Church on the Air. Do subscribe, share. On Facebook, we have five pages. When you pray and I pray, Missiles of the Truth, Search the Scriptures, Nation Building, and of course, Church on the Air. We are Church Without Borders. Visit, like, share. God bless you. It is well with you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of our God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit never leave us all, now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you very much for streamlining with us. God bless you.